right, so today's trail is the Middle St. Vrain Coney Flats. Well, we just did the first couple miles, a mile of it maybe, maybe two miles. Pretty, pretty rough for a stock Jeep. Mine without many skid plates underneath it. It was rough. Matt's had no issue, but we got up here no problem. Beautiful trail. Had a lot of fun. camping trip. Did a lot of overlanding. The idea of this trip was to come out and go to Overland Expo Mountain West. Matt and I talked about it. We talked about camping on facility sites and doing all three days, but we decided we're going to Colorado. We need to do some overlanding. And this was epic. low that way we weren't let down but day one we had an amazing view of a mountain lake and that's a bucket list item day two we sat on top of Johnny Park Trail and overlooked the Denver skyline and got some amazing shots of the Milky Way both of those bucket list items to do today Grand Slam. We got a beautiful creek right behind us. So we're going to be listening to that all night long. The expo is a great time. If you've never been to one, please go. Take your allowance. Plan on doing a lot of walking. But they had so many neat ideas. The vendors were just as friendly as can be. And yeah, I just can't say anything wrong or anything bad about it. Met two of the YouTubers that I follow, and it, that was just fun in itself. And and I'm so grateful that they took the time out to talk with us for a few minutes. I know they were busy. So here we are, Brain Trail, setting up the camp, getting ready to make dinner, and it was a spectacular dinner. I can say that I cooked it. Um, Matt wasn't complaining either. It, it actually came out really well. The one issue we did have is we bought squash and we got up there and realized that, eh, or no, not squash, the zucchini. We bought zucchini and we got up there and realized it yep. was cucumbers. <laughs> so we tried growing some cucumbers there too. And it wasn't too bad. But the steaks, they were amazing. The one thing that we did not count on and you could never have told us in a million years it was going to happen was what's about to happen next. But, yep, this is what we went to bed to. Matt sleeping in his Jeep, me sleeping in mine. Early in the morning, I heard him rustling through his cooler. He thought he heard me rustling through my cooler. 
And, well, neither one of us were rustling through our coolers before sunrise. Yeah. It was bear country. <laughs> so we started shouting, get away bear, go away bear. And when it finally left, this was kind of what it did to Matt's cooler. Bumped up against Matt's Jeep, left some fur underneath its bumpers, put some teeth marks in that cooler and some claw marks. So, quite the experience. That was how we woke up that morning. It was time to pack up, head back home. We had to not only drive the, off the trail, but then back to the highway, interstate, and then back to Nebraska for both of us to get back to work. It was an amazing trip. It's going to be a hard trip to top, but I think we're going to try and we're going to try hard. Again, both Jeeps did really well. Mine struggled just in the sense that being stock, it needs a lift, it needs skid plates. Matt, oh, he had no problem whatsoever other than keeping up with my Jeep. I have about an extra 60 or 70 horsepower and factory tires where he's running 35s and I'm about to install thir the same tires he's running on his same size even on my Jeep without a lift so that video will be coming up yep no lift 35s I think it can be done so keep an eye out for that video if you haven't checked out those other two youtubers yet That'd be Venture Forward or Lifestyles Overland. They are both putting out great content that is entertaining and family friendly. If you want any other information on Scott Off Road or Scott Off Road RC, you can go to the Patreon page at patreon.com slash Scott Off Road. There I put weekly updates as to upcoming videos or trips or anything going on in the world of Scott Off Road. But at this point, I think we're going to just continue bouncing down the trail and start heading back home. Wrapping up here. I want to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Have yourself a blessed day. Remember, you fix the Jeep, the Jeep fixes you. Now go out and do something fun with your family.